for its own version of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. The Cincinnati Neighborhood Games will bring the city's <laughs> 52 neighborhoods together for an Olympic-style competition featuring games like well, Cornhole, obviously. Yeah, yeah. so Cincinnati, obviously <laughs> uh, putting on something this big, though. Takes a lot of good people, and a couple of those good people are here to tell us how to get involved. I want you to meet Brian Hiles and Henry Frondorf, who are going to play a little Cornhole with me and Bob Seems now. like the right thing to do uh, like during a this preview. particular yeah. discussion. We know we're okay. kind of spread out here, but bear with us. So I was out there. Oh, uh, you're going with Henry now? Right. Okay. Oh, wasn't I supposed to go over here? No, he's on my team. He's good. Yeah, because you're oh, on okay, Henry's team, so you're right. supposed See, to be over there. I need a lesson See, in She cornhole. doesn't even know the rules, I Henry, and you chose her to be on your team. Right. So, so last year, I got to head out and MC the opening ceremonies, and I guess you guys called a huge success. You're doing it again, right? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we had all 52 neighborhood flags there at the opening ceremonies. So neat. Yeah, everybody walking around Washington Park is such a cool, yeah. cool thing going on. So uh, mm -hmm. this year, we are uh, hoping to get all 52 neighborhoods on board again. Cool. And, uh, scoot us up just yeah, a little bit. Play there we go. Brian, you want to take, yeah. yeah. take a shot there? Go right ahead. So, so we're hoping that we get captains from all 52 neighborhoods. Right now, we have 26 neighborhoods with a captain, which is half. Yeah, okay. And if you want to be a captain, Brian, how do you go about being a captain? Absolutely. You can just contact us. You can go to our website. It's at cincygames.com. Uh, there's information oh. on there about how you can get signed up, and there's also a map that will show you what neighborhoods are still available. We still have about 20 neighborhoods we're looking to get captains right now. Oh, okay, good. Now, what are some of the other games people are going to play? So we got like water. Ooh, oh, that's a good job, Ryan. Thank you. Oh, we got a water balloon toss, uh, bat spin relay. Uh, Cincinnati trivia is a fun one. We held that finals at Ryan Guys last year. Oh, that's not um, bad. And uh, you know. Ah. All sorts of fun. <laughs> so that's yeah. one. That's three for in the hole, then her two. So we got one. Right? Now, yeah, now, Bob, I haven't lost a game of Cornell since 87. So. Ooh, cool. <laughs> you know, you know a lot of people yeah. say you have to have a drink in one hand to balance out your throwing yeah. style, but whatever. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, geez, guys, you're talking about breweries and cornhole, and you didn't bring us a drink. <laughs> but, you know, okay. the, 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 point is, the point is to bring neighborhood pride right. to each, every single neighborhood. And so that, that's the goal with the neighborhood games. And But we need people, individuals to step up and uh, lead their neighborhood. And in the so games. then you have a meeting a week yeah. from tomorrow for yes. people who want to get involved, right? Tell us about the particulars of that, yes. the meeting next so, week. So the meeting on Saturday uh, is a captain orientation. We're going to be at uh, Wegman Company, uh, which is down on Western Avenue. And the idea behind that is, you know, the captains are really the ones that are really leading it in the neighborhoods. They know where to, to have the games, where okay. to recruit and get people there. Yeah. And this training is just going to give people resources to learn how to do that. What What's the score now, Bob? Let's see. Well, I put one in the you hole, and I got one other one. So we had four, two. So I we got we two. So we're nothing. up. Yay! Three, yeah, yeah, that is crazy. It's going crazy. <laughs> but it, it really is just a fantastic event. I mean, it was it was a lot of fun last year. And I, that's just the last thing I'll ask you. What right. was the response from people who took part last year? Oh, they loved it. Yeah, uh, they loved it. You know, one of my favorite experiences, real fast, was right before the Whiffball Homer Derby Finals, there's two young boys from Massonville because every neighborhood gets, every uh, participant gets a shirt yeah. with the neighborhood on the back. And a little boy looked at the older boy and said, what neighborhood are we from? And the older boy said, we're from Madisonville. And he was proud because Madisonville was kicking oh, butt. That's and, great. you know, that, that's the point, right? Mm -hmm. get, right? Get these kids, get adults to say, well, I'm from Madisonville. I'm proud of it. That's and so that's, that, like everybody that. loved it. And yeah. Bob said it's just really cool with the flags and the mm -hmm. yeah. opening ceremony. Oh, and, and they the came marching nine. in. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really great. Okay, yeah. so we'll put the information on the website. Uh, if you want to be a captain for the Cincinnati Neighborhood Games, there is that orientation on Saturday, January 20th at Wegman Company on Western Avenue, all the information at local12.com under the Get It links. Thank and, you, Brian and, and Henry. And really important to remember that it's it's spread out for a while. It's not like all the competitions happen on the same day. Yeah. And Neighborhood qualifiers start, they can run from June 1st to July 15th. Okay. The finals opening ceremony is July 21, and go to uh, July 28th is the real finals at, at Yates Cove. Very right. good. Definitely something Thanks, to check guys. out. Thank you Thanks for much. coming in and bringing the cor cornhole boards. We'll be right back. <laughs>